You're so laid back, you're so chill. Do you hear me? You're so cool, man. Um, I want to talk to you about the new single. It's uh, Go Low. Yeah. Tell me about it. What, can you, what are we expecting from it? What's the response been like so far? Uh, it's been pretty amazing, man. You know, it, it, it's quite overwhelming when you pull a track out and people receive it really well. So I'm really happy with how it's been going so far. And what does Afrobeats mean to you? And why have you take, chose to take part in this concert on court with Timo and friends? Uh, Afrobeat means a lot to me, you know, it's like going back to my roots, you know what I'm saying, because um, my parents are Nigerians, uh, I've, grew, I've grown up in a Nigerian uh, family, so like Afrobeats for me was very, very normal, very easy for me to just slide into and, and start making music from, from it, so it, it was really, it was really cool. And how many girls do you get as a dancer? <laughs> None. This is your host Rob reporting live from Encore Concert with Timo and Friends. And talk to me about this new single where you're talking to me about bridging the bridging between Afro yeah. beats and it. pretty much called Cuts and Shapes and it's literally what this encore is about, bridging the gap between Afro beat and the urban sound. And so the Cuts and Shapes, you've got shufflers, you've got um, Afro beat dancers, you've got any kind of genre kind of coming together and the, the vibe is so live that you can literally, it, it appeals to everyone. And tell me about this production, you mentioned some A-listers, can you tell us any names? Oh, Runtown, Inyanya, Ice Prince. I'll just leave it there. And when can we ex when can we expect that? I was coming out on their project, um, and I've got a production EP coming at the end of the year, and a few collaborations with them on that as well. So. And where can we find you? All your socials. SoundCloud, everywhere. AJ on the beats. Everything with a Z at the end. How did performance go? Ah, oh, it's, it's, it's a lovely man. I, I love that. It's, it's alright. What made you get involved with the encore show? Um, I'm trying to support like the um the whole like, Afrobeat movement like with um Ru Timo, you know, trying to promote. Us UK based artist to the world, and I think he's, he's, doing, he's doing a good job so, so far. Is there any other artists out at the moment who are really waiting that you're really excited about on the come up on the Afrobeat scene? Do you know what? I think everyone in UK right now is doing like, you know, good job right now, like Jage Orleans, from, I think from the Ghana side and the Green side, I think everyone is doing good. Everyone's doing good. And what can we expect of you over the next couple of months? What's coming out? I'm dropping out a new single soon. Um, Secret surprise. Um, so yeah, I'm doing a video for that, I'm trying to promote that more. So yeah. And for those who don't know, where can we find you and where can we support you? I'm everywhere: Insta, Twitter, SoundCloud. Just simply Yemi Rush. Same name. Same. Yeah. Alright, it's cool. So what can we expect of you over the next couple of weeks? A couple of uh, months even. Are you doing a lot more touring? I'll be watching you on Snapchat. Yeah, man, just bear shows. Show in Sweden on the 9th of April. Um, just bear shows at like the 31st. I'm at um, White Lilies. I'm just like literally performing everywhere all the time. I can't get, I'm really looking at the oh, teeth, the teeth, teeth man, I'm mad, so yeah, calm down, alright, and so you've, uh, a lot of music coming out, Tarzan 3's been out a little while, um, that's nothing, that's just yeah. me warming up, I'm always forever warming up, it's all about the big, massive records that I do, obviously I'm a great somewhere else, so I just need to make sure the world understands that, and this is what I'm trying to do, it's taking it, it's a bit of a long process, but man will, when can we expect it? When can we get it? There's some, there's some, there's some, there's some stuck on my mum's life. So it, it takes a lot for someone to say, not, I'm not saying I'm the best, but it takes a lot for someone to say they're the best if they don't, if they only just rap or they, yeah, you need to be able to sing these days, you need to be able to rap, you need to, right, everyone can just rap, everyone can just spit bars. What are you going to do after you spit that bar? Can you write a song and, you know what I mean? There, there, there's levels to this shit. My, mm, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ramon and friends, goddammit. You got any uh, comments on any of the oh, conflict that happened with Tarzan 3? Uh, yeah, no, listen, shout out to all my people, them. Um, it's controversy. I'm not even going to get on to that, to that question before you start rushing me on that, but it's all good, my brother. It's all love. It. Timo, we have come off the stage. The night is done. How do you feel? Relieved, right? Yeah, man, it's crazy. We've been planning this for so long. You know, put so much work into it. It's just great to, to have it done, you know, and over with. It was amazing, though. You know, what would you say the biggest challenges of organising and performing it? Um, I mean, d doing both, you know, doing both is just crazy. Do you know what I'm saying? It takes mad work, mad dedication, you know, and, um, you know, you have, you have to wear a lot of hats, you know, you have to do PR, marketing, it's crazy, man, it's crazy. And I know you had a massive lineup, you had a loads of different artists on there. We was expecting Sneak Bar as well, but we could, didn't have Sneak Bar. Any, any questions, anything um, on that? I mean, it's just, yeah, just due to certain, you know, sort of, uh, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to, Delve too deep, but there were there were issues, you know, with him performing in the venue, and that that's about all I can I can pretty much say. How does this uh, compete with the last one that you did last year? Um, I mean they're both like they're both different, you know, in good ways. I think we probably had you know um, a bigger crowd than last year, and we had you know that be bigger artists on on the bill as well, you know. So I think um, 
yeah, it's just growing and growing, you know. So that's that's the that's the great thing about it, you know. What are you thinking about next year? Boy, on, only the only way is up, man. Bigger and better. That's that's all I can think about. Well, it's a joy to come down here, man. And performances are excellent, of course. You, you, yours is like a circus, man. You had like everything. I seen someone do the fire thing, right? The fire thing. And yeah, then I LED, see, LED, the, LED lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was, it was amazing, man. And the whole shebang, man. What a show. Definitely worth the money, man. I'll tell you that now. Thanks again for inviting us.